Boxer dog ear cropping and tail docking, pros and cons. Boxer dogs are known for their striking appearance and one cannot deny their unique charm. Arm. With their strong muscular build and distinctive square-shaped head, boxers attract attention wherever they go. However, there is a controversial aspect when it comes to the aesthetics of boxers ear cropping and tail docking. In this article, we will explore the pros and cons of these practices. Firstly, let us discuss ear cropping. Ear cropping is a surgical procedure that involves removing a portion of the boxer's ears to create an upright and erect appearance. This practice is believed to have originated in ancient Rome, where the ears of war dogs were cropped to prevent enemies from grabbing them during combat. Nowadays, ear cropping is mainly done for cosmetic purposes. Proponents of ear cropping argue that it enhances the breed's appearance by giving them a more alert and vigilant look. They believe that cropped ears accentuate the boxer's strong facial structure and lend an air of authority and dominance. Additionally, they claim that cropped ears are less prone to infections or injuries compared to floppy ears that can trap moisture and debris. On the other hand, opponents of ear cropping argue that it is a cruel and unnecessary procedure. They believe that dogs are born with floppy ears for a reason and altering their natural ear shape is a form of mutilation. They argue that the procedure is painful and can cause complications such as infection, scarring, and deformities. Furthermore, they argue that dogs communicate through body language and cropping their ears can hinder their ability to express themselves effectively. Moving on to tail docking, which is the removal of a portion of the boxer's tail. Tail docking has its roots in practicality rather than aesthetics. It was originally performed on working dogs to prevent tail injuries while working in the field. Today, tail docking is mostly done for breed standard purposes. Proponents of tail docking argue that it reduces the risk of tail injuries. Boxers are known for their enthusiastic wagging tails, which can sometimes lead to injuries when they hit objects. By docking their tails, proponents claim that potential injuries can be avoided. Additionally, they believe that a docked tail gives boxers a more balanced and symmetrical appearance, in line with breed standards. However, opponents of tail docking argue that it is an unnecessary and painful procedure. They contend that dogs use their tails as a means of communication and removing a portion of it interferes with their ability to express emotions. They also claim that tail docking can lead to behavioral issues such as anxiety and aggression. It is important to note that the opinions on ear cropping and tail docking vary among different countries and organizations. In some countries, these practices are banned while in others they are still permitted. Additionally, various veterinary organizations have voiced their stance on the matter, with some advocating against the procedures and others leaving the decision to the owner's discretion. In conclusion, the topic of ear cropping and tail docking in boxer dogs is a contentious one. While proponents argue that these practices enhance the breed's appearance and reduce the risk of injuries, opponents view them as unnecessary and painful procedures that alter the natural state of the dog. Ultimately, the decision lies with the owner, who should carefully consider the pros and cons and consult with a veterinarian before proceeding with any surgical procedures.